Hello, welcome to Level Chain Channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca. I'm a real world 777 pilot, and today we are going to talk about the CDU performance data. I really recommend you to go back to the sixth video of this series about the CDU initial data, where I discuss uh, how and why the Boeing splits the CDU procedure into two or three steps. So today, this is the latest step on the CDU itself. And uh, this procedure starts when the pilots receive the load sheet in the cockpit, okay? And to start this, uh, so I want to show you uh, the document that you can follow to perform all the procedure. Uh, and the document is available through the video description there is a link for you to download this document and i'm going to show you this document right now so basically uh, the cdu performance data is start with the captain and the first officer verifying the load sheet okay so to verify the load sheet uh, a couple of steps you need to follow and i'm going to go uh, with you through them right now okay so uh, when you receive a load sheet like this and in this case this uh, shows that is a load sheet final this is the first edition of this load sheet and we can check that is for our flight that uh, is the varig 1986 on 8th of july 2024 what is important for us uh well what we actually need for this procedure are only two uh, values from here. The, the first one is the zero fuel weight, 203.759, so basically we round this up to 203.8, and the CG for your takeoff, so is the max takeoff weight, in this case 28.8%, and for the CG I do recommend you uh, to uh, round it down uh, to the nearest uh, uh, entire value. In this case, we are going to use 28, okay? So remember these numbers, uh, 203.8 and 28. So one for the CG and one for uh, the takeoff weight, okay? So once uh, the pilots verify the load sheet, they have to review the takeoff performance to make sure that the takeoff performance they calculated before agree uh, with the load sheet. Okay, maybe you have a higher weight now on the final load sheet, or you have a different center of gravity, uh, or uh, you have a much lower. Uh, weight and you want to review and verify that your takeoff performance matches your load sheet and once you have all the data then you start with the CDU performance data going to the performance initialization page then you go to the trust limit page takeoff page reference 2 is very important that you go first to page 2 this is a Boeing procedure page 2 of 2 and then you go back to the page 1 of two okay so this is basically the procedure that i'm going to perform with you right now okay so we already uh review uh, or verify our load sheet and now we are going to review our performance so in this case we go to our takeoff uh, performance application and I want to make sure that I'm not taking off or my performance is not calculated with less uh, than my uh, takeoff weight. So in this case, I'm going to change this value here uh, to something around uh, 304. So 304 tons, uh, that's our takeoff weight. And CG, we had something around 28. Those are the values that I'm going uh, to use. Uh, of course, if you have everything in place from your previous calculation, you do not have to change anything. In this case, I wanted to make a little bit more conservative for these values, and I'm going to calculate it again. And here on the right side, I have the values that I'm going uh, to enter into my CDU. To enter this into my CDU, I'm going to bring my tablet here so we can follow uh, the information here and add into our CDU. So first thing that you need to do is you go to your index 
performance initialization page and you want to make sure that you have the correct zero fee weight. In this case for us today, it reduced from our flight plan to 203 decimal weight. So we have only 100 kilos difference. So I'm going to input here 203 decimal weight for the zero fee weight. Of course, if the zero fee weight, the latest one is the same as your previous one, is the same as your planet one, you keep it the same. Okay, so you want to review uh, this number. And then once you review this number, uh, you go to your trust limit page and you are going to enter the values here. First, you select your uh, takeoff trust. In this case, we have rating is takeoff. So we keep it on takeoff and then we have a select temperature of 40. So we are going to enter here 40. Okay, then you have to verify and change your uh, climb trust if needed usually you don't have to change there is a video on this channel about uh, the climb uh, trust so I do recommend you to watch that video if you have any doubt about your climb trust then you go to your takeoff performance remember to go to takeoff performance reference page 2 of 2 and you want to make sure that you have your engine out acceleration height your acceleration high and your uh, trust reduction height uh, correctly set okay uh, basically for the engine out acceleration height you are going to use uh, the one that is showing on your performance calculation and acceleration height and trust reduction you are going to follow your company procedure or you are going to follow the airport noise abatement procedure okay if you are not uh, following any specific procedure for your company I do recommend you to keep the standard Boeing procedure of 1500 for the acceleration height or and trust reduction height okay so remember to keep 1500 if you have no clue what I'm talking about uh, otherwise you can follow a company specific procedure if you want to follow I procedure that a lot of companies uh, use around the world you can change this the same way I did to 1000 my current operator uses 1000 and unless uh, one more time I have a noise abatement procedure to follow from a specific airport I keep 1000 uh, feet for acceleration height and trust reduction and remember the engine out acceleration high will be always from your takeoff performance in this case everything is correct on takeoff performance reference page two of two so I can come back to the first one and enter my CG remember CG from the load sheet 28 in this case then you are going to take the flaps from your performance flap is 5 so I enter flaps 5 and then the speeds 170 177 and 181 in this case, it matches whatever was here. If it doesn't match, you just type the one that you need and you insert. And most of the airplanes around the world, they have this reference speed as disabled. So you do not have the reference speeds there. Okay, so in that case, uh, you can all, always enter uh, the numbers from your uh, takeoff performance calculation. Okay, so V1, 170, VR, 177, and V2, uh, 181 in this case okay so basically uh, this is this is what you need okay uh, one thing that I just forgot to do it because I wanted to enter the data here but I'm going to do it again with you uh, on the first page when you are on the performance initial page the first page for this procedure today remember that when you uh, set the zero fee weight remember to review your few uh, so the few needs to match everything that you had so far uh, including uh, the few that you have on board and the few on the load sheet and the gross weight needs to match wherever you whatever you have on your load sheet as well okay so let's go back uh, to the load sheet and here you can check that your takeoff fuel is 99 600 so basically we are burning 400 kilos uh, for the taxi and our takeoff weight is going to be 303 uh, decimal 4 so right now we have 400 kilos more on our uh, CDU this is the fuel that we are going to burn during taxi so uh, those values they are co 
correct okay so remember when you enter the zero fill weight always check your fill one more time and your gross weight one more time make sure they agree with the papers they all agree uh, with your takeoff performance calculations and then uh, once you have everything correct then uh, one more time go to your uh, trust limit enter your takeoff trust your selected temperature if any if you need or apu if you need in this case then verify your select your climb trust takeoff reference page two for engine out acceleration height and trust reduction go back to page one enter cg flaps and speeds and you are good to go everything uh, is uh, set on your uh, cdu okay so your cdu pre-flight is complete at this stage i hope you like this video i hope you learned something new i hope uh, if you enjoy uh, that you are going to share this video with your friends and i see you on the continuation of this uh, virtual ground course about the 777 bye bye